So let's begin on the passenger side. As you enter the coach, it has a keyless entry system and there's a lighted handle for going in and out. Works uh, really well on the campsites. And this is the Norcold freezer and that's its primary function. But if you turn it down to about two, it makes a great beer cooler and my friends really like that. I know you're not supposed to show all your junk in a motorhome, but I do want you to see that this is one of the two uh, pull-throughs that goes through both sides in and out. It makes putting all your chairs and paraphernalia really easy to be able to pull out from either side of the coach. We love to tailgate and we're big Alabama fans. But if you're not, that Alabama sticker will come right off. Uh, I put a new 4K uh, television system in here that will work off of uh, over-the-air cable or work through the satellite system that I'll talk about in a few minutes. Driver's side now in the back of the coach, and this is the water closet. And I just love the way uh, Newmar set this up so you have instant cutoff of any lines in case one of them was ever burst. It has a filtration system that has one canister here on the outside and there are two on the inside. So the water tastes great coming out of the, out of the tank. I found a neat um, water regulator, pressure regulator, and uh, it doesn't slow down the water a lick. So when you're taking a shower, you, you're getting the full pressure and also protect your coach while you're doing it. Right next to the water closet is the electrical. And I just I put a new 50-foot uh, cable on for plug-in 50-amp service. And you can also see there that I put in a EMS 50-amp service as well. And uh, it, that's been a godsend. If you go into an area that has either uh, spiking electricity or low voltage, it'll automatically uh, turn the electricity off and then once it gets corrected, it will come back on. But since we started using this, which was right after we bought the coach, I have not had a single problem with electricity or air conditioners going in and out or nothing. It's been great. It comes with a 12.5 uh, kW generator and I replaced all the windshield wipers, the arms, the hoses, everything, because I'm big on safety. And I replaced the standard headlights with these 3D or three LED lights. And uh, boy, they'll, they'll light up the road now. It is absolutely a beautiful coach. We're very proud of it. It's been easy to uh, maintain and use. And we look forward to any other questions you might have. Thanks. This is our Newmar Essex. And I'm gonna take you on a little tour of the uh, inside and show you some of the great features it has. We're selling our unit because my husband has rheumatoid arthritis and we're no longer able to travel extensively like we like. As you can see, the two captain chairs swivel around to make extra seating in the living room area. The living room area has two slide outs, one on each side. It has a love seat and a queen size couch that makes into a queen size pull out sofa. It has overhead storage And in this compartment is your control panel. The control panel that controls the temperature, heating, air, conditioning. It's very, very simple to operate. As well as all of your slide outs and uh, drapery um, components that move up and down.
use the privacy draperies so you can see out the front window so it's going to get a little bright now that happens to be our jeep that we tow behind our vehicle when we go on trips so there's the front view out the window Next to the living room is the dinette, the overhead storage. It comes with four chairs. We normally only have two out. The table has a extension to make it larger. There's the television. Lots of cabinets for storage. This unit has a uh, convection oven slash microwave. And this compartment is the two burner gas stove. It just flips up. With lots of storage area for your utensils pots and pans. It's got sink, double sink actually. This also lifts out. There's the refrigerator. I wouldn't exactly call it a full-size refrigerator because in motorhomes you don't have the same depth in a refrigerator. But it's extremely adequate for a, a family. There's your ice maker. This unit did come with a washer and dryer, but I really liked more storage area. So we removed the washer and dryer and installed a pantry. It's kind of dark in there, you won't be able to see, but there's uh, shelves, sliding shelves that come out. We have extra pillows and blankets for guests that uh, sleep in this area. But the shelves easily come out and the washer and dryer can be reinstalled with very little trouble. Next to the living room area is a small toilet and sink. full view of it. It's really convenient when you have an extra couple that is sleeping in this area for them to have a bathroom available right there, right behind the television, so they don't have to use the master bathroom. Works very well. Go back to the master bathroom bedroom area. Turn some lights on has nice overhead storage for books, reading material, iPads. It has, um, beside each person's bed, hard to see here, an electrical outlet. Let's see if I can get it focused down there. I don't think you can see it. Yeah, barely. There it is. Electrical outlet. Light controls. You can also from one side of the bed control the temperature in the rooms in the whole unit. On this side of the king size bed 
and this in this case we have a king size Tempur-Pedic mattress it's extremely comfortable sleeping we've installed a gun safe in, in this area it can be removed if you don't like that six very large drawers on this side of the room lots of mirrors and now brings us to the bathroom on one side we have the shower and this shower is plenty plenty big for a large person there's more drawers and storage in the bathroom And next to that, we have a closet that is cedar lined. And on this side are more drawers. And drawers, two drawers at the bottom inside the closet. So that concludes the tour. Stations everywhere. It has a HWH computerized leveling system. You just push that hydro level button twice. She levels right up, put the slides out, you're done. Has a uh, Allison transmission. And also has a engine brake and uh, the tag axle dump. Real simple to control. This television is also a uh, 4K television. I added to it a uh, $300 remote from Logitech that controls everything with one button. This is the entire electronics um, center for the amp the satellite system, Blu-ray, and I use a wireless HDMI to send the signal. It's clean, updated, totally functional. There's additional storage underneath the king size bed. Just lift it up. There's a nice sturdy safe underneath there, and that's where the extra chairs for the dining room. I think it's a big deal, but this has a nice full-size porcelain toilet in it. It makes you feel like you're right at home. The EPLEX system that Gail talked about in the front uh, closet, is, there's also one here in the bedroom, and you can see it's real easy. Uh, touch for HVAC, inverter, EMS, generator, tanks, all real simple. This Essex has a 500 horsepower Cummings engine, clean as a pin. Drives like a dream on a Spartan chassis.